Hey everyone, just got back from Romania and I want to give you guys a recap on my experience in Romania and some things you need to know when traveling to Romania. There's a lot of things I kind of took for granted, didn't really do a whole lot of research that's on my end, uh, but want to kind of go over some of those things I learned when in uh, when spending time in Romania, what to expect. Um, first off, uh, I was there for about eight days, uh, did lots of traveling, we rented some vehicles, drove around, saw all of the castles, um, got to see a lot of the country in a pretty short amount of time just due to us being able to rent a vehicle. That brings me to my first point, renting a vehicle in Romania. Uh, we rented vehicles um, in quite a bit of different countries. This was the first country to require a international driver's license. So that is something to be aware of. If you want to rent a vehicle in Romania, you need an international driver's license and it needs to be from AAA if you're in the United States. Uh, that is something we didn't know. Luckily, we found a solution uh, where we were able to rent a vehicle, kind of a sketchy deal um, off of the airport property. But when you arrive at the airport in Bucharest, uh, and if you have a rental vehicle, they will ask you for a international driver's license. You need to have the one, otherwise you're basically SOL. Uh, like I said, we were able to get a, uh, a rental vehicle, but we had to be transported off of the airport property. And we basically did it on the side of the road in the small office. Uh, where we were able to rent a couple of vehicles. Um, about that, on a little small tangent, lots of cops, uh, they do monitor the speed. Um, you want to be aware of that. Don't go too fast. Just go to speed limit in Romania. It's not worth it. Um, but yeah, if you are looking to rent a vehicle, which is honestly probably the best way to see Romania, uh, is renting a vehicle, very nice roads, very good uh, highway system, road system. Uh, you do need that international driver's license um, and you do need to be able to present that uh, at the time of picking up the rental vehicle. Second thing you need to know is the currency. What currency are they on? They're on their own currency. Uh, this is a one, basically a one Romanian uh, bill. Uh, it's actually some pretty cool money. Uh, the, cur the current uh, ratio uh, for Romanian to the US dollar is about 4.8 Romanian to 1 US dollar. Um, and to kind of give you an idea of like prices, if you're outside of Bucharest, um, you can find a lot of things like a Coca-Cola. Um, if you want to get a, a bottle of Coca-Cola, could be 2.5 to 3, so less than a dollar, which is always good. Romania is not an overly expensive country. Uh, it's fairly affordable if you know where to travel and if you're not just trying to ball out on money. Um, if you're pretty reasonable, it's a very reasonable country to be in. But like everything, there's always going to be expenses that pop up. Uh, and things can get expensive, but overall, Romania is really affordable. Um, it's not like the country of Georgia affordable, that was really, really affordable. Um, but it's not as expensive as uh, a country on the Euro, um, just because that's more one-to-one. -one. Or like Switzerland, I was in Switzerland as well. That's more one-to-one -one ratio, so prices are probably reflective of what's at home for you. Um, Romania is not that. So Romania, very affordable, um, but also not like insanely cheap like Thailand or something. So want to come in with the proper expectations. Um, what to expect when you go into Romania? Some people might have a perception of Romania of a Eastern Bloc country, um, maybe poor. It's really not that. There's a much more German influence. Uh, lots of Italian uh, restaurants when we were kind of walking around. Um, but the best way to kind of see uh, Romania and what to expect out of Romania is get out of the city. 
the, that's the best thing you can do is get out of Bucharest. Bucharest is cool. I enjoyed my time there, but uh, I enjoyed my time more uh, seeing different things out more in the country, in that Transylvania uh, county, I would say. That whole area of Transylvania is probably the coolest area in all of Romania. There's a lot of smaller towns that are just really, really cool. They have a lot of good local food. They have a lot of good German and Italian food that you can eat there for really good prices. And then there's a lot of attractions. There's a bunch of these castles that are unbelievable. They really are. Um, Pele's Castle, you can correct me uh, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, um, but that is a main, I would say probably the best and main castle you would want to see. Uh, my tip for that is try and get there as early as possible because you can spend a full day there. You really can. Um, and get the ticket that allows you to see all three floors of the castle. You're already there. Uh, the ticket's not that much more expensive. It, it might be from like five to like $15. $5 starting at the base, get the most expensive ticket, see as much as you can in that castle because it is absolutely jaw-dropping when you're walking in there and you can see all of these beautiful, I mean, beautiful castles and the rooms and the design and the gold and everything that's in there, you can see and really take your time, absorb it, just be in awe of it because it's really probably the most beautiful thing I've seen across quite a bit of countries I've been to. So take your time in that castle. Get there relatively early. You can spend, you could easily spend six hours there. Easily. So make sure you have enough time. Don't try and rush through that castle. And also know that's probably the best castle you'll see. And that's just being realistic. Uh, Bronze Castle or Dracula's Castle. That one's really cool. It has a lot of, uh, we did that for Halloween. Um, and if I'm being fully transparent, I don't think that castle would be that cool to see if it wasn't on Halloween. I did the Halloween party, went all out, got the really nice ticket with the dinner, the party. We were first in line to uh, go up into the castle. They had a whole Halloween experience. Uh, that is really the best way to see the bronze castle. Um, otherwise, it's it's a little underwhelming. It's cool that it's Dracula's castle and it's cool with the history and all, but it just does not match up with um, with Pele's castle. It's just two different levels. Pele's castle is really a, a recently built castle, but it is unbelievably gorgeous and it's unbelievably well maintained. Dracula's castle is really old uh, but there's a lot of history behind it. So they both have their pros and cons but don't ex if you go to Pele's castle don't expect bronze castle to be on the same level interior wise. Uh, again I, personally I don't think Bronze Castle would have been that cool if it wasn't Halloween. I think you need to go on Halloween to really experience the best of that castle and the best of that location. It's a really cool location, really cool area, but Halloween really elevates it to make it stand out. I think if you go just any other normal time, it, Bronze Castle might get washed out from your memory because there's other better things. That brings me to the third castle, uh, Corvin's Castle that is on the far west side of Romania. Um, really pretty castle from the outside. I mean, that is the, as one Google review said, the most castliest castle uh, they've ever seen. It, it has a drawbridge, it has the moat, uh, sorry, not drawbridge, just a very long, narrow bridge. It has a moat, very, very pretty, um, but on the inside, not so much. You can go up to the top, and that's really cool. Uh, they are uh, working on kind of reconstructing that from the inside, from the outside, so 
that's going to be looking really good in a couple of years once they finish that. But until they do, just have the proper expectations. We see these pictures online and they're great. Uh, I got to do a lot of drone videos uh, and drone footage there. Uh, but also go in with the proper expectations, knowing that Pele's castle is the best castle throughout. Uh, from the inside, from the presentation to the outside, the, main, the maintenance on it. It is the best castle. And going to the other castles are definitely of lower quality, but they each have their own little charm. Uh, and they're all worth seeing. Just know that once you see Pele's castle, everything else will be a little bit lower quality. And that brings me to other attractions. There's a lot of really cool cities. Uh, and again, you can comment down below if I am mispronouncing them. I know I am. I'm horrible with names, uh, horrible with uh, pronouncing stuff. Uh, but Brazov, B-R-A-S-O-V, that's like the main hub you'll stay in within Transylvania for Pele's Castle, for Bronze Castle, and other things. Uh, and then there's Sibiu, Sibiu, again, I'm horrible, S-I-B-I-U, that's more uh, towards the west. Uh, that's another pretty big hub that you can travel in and out of to other uh, places, do day trips out of. Um, we kind of always stay within a triangle, so we did uh, Bucharest, uh, Brazov, Brazov to Saibu, uh, and then we took day trips out from those uh, bigger uh, but smaller towns than Bucharest. So definitely get out of Bucharest, definitely do your research, have the proper expectations with what you're seeing. I will say there was a salt mine coming back uh, towards Bucharest that is I think everyone should go do. Uh, it's a really cool salt mine. They drive you uh, in a bus all the way down. And then there's these soccer fields, tennis courts, ice hockey, uh, go-karts. They have, it's a whole attraction. It's a whole like theme park underground in this, in this salt mine. It's really unbelievable. Um, and I'll post some stuff to my uh, YouTube channel here about that salt mine, just some clips that I've filmed. Um, so you can always just view that stuff. Um, but last one I want, want to go over is what are the people? Uh, that's something that I always kind of, I'm always curious about. Do they speak good English? Am I going to suffer? Um, good news is uh, if you are a predominant English speaker, they do speak really good English for the most part. Couple of places uh, like smaller restaurants, we had a little bit of trouble, but we, we manage, we can there's the power of the internet. Uh, people are super, super nice, always willing to help out, always willing to give you good information, uh, and they're very friendly people. Uh, so you're not, I, I don't think you'll run into any issues, but that is a question that a lot of people have. Uh, super friendly people, speak very good English uh, for the most part. Like I said, when we started to get out there more and more away from like the bigger cities, uh, even like the medium sized cities, you might run into some issues where people might not be able to have a full on conversation with you, but you just make do and get by. Um, but yeah, those are the five things that you need to know about going to Romania. The currency, international driver's license, kind of like what to expect within Romania. Uh, get out of the city. That's the best way to see it. And if there's only one time of the year you can go to Romania, go during autumn. It's the prettiest. It's so pretty there. Uh, that's when we went. We, we were there in the end of October. It's the best. The leaves are falling. They're turning. It, it's really a very pretty country in autumn. Uh, people, currency, uh, the main attractions. If, again, if you go to Pele's Castle, make sure you buy the most expensive ticket. Again, it's not that much money, but it's well worth the time and being able to see everything. The other floors, rather than the first floor, aren't, they don't match the quality, but it's still, it's less crowded and you can really absorb and take in and really appreciate all the beauty in that castle. Again, I'm going to be posting a lot of stuff onto my YouTube and under the YouTube shorts about those castles so you can see that 
uh, for yourself. It's unbelievable. Cameras don't do it justice. Pictures don't do it justice. Gotta go experience it for yourself. Uh, if you have any other questions, if you have uh, comments, concerns, anything, uh, comment down below. Uh, I'm always engaging with any comments. Uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, it really helps out trying to get to a thousand. Uh, but otherwise, thanks.